welcome back and today was grooming day for Marsh and it didn't go as planned it was a fail now this is our first time at the groomers so I really was anxious and hesitant to see how Marsh was going to handle it because she was the one I was concerned about and the groomers told me everything they were going to do and what I should expect so I was like okay that's cool he comes out he starts talking to her and he's like yeah I can see she's got some mats on her neck I'm gonna have to groom them Marsh is a long hair I've had her since December I've been trying to brush her every day and it's a losing battle and it's like her hair grows her excuse me fur her fur grows so quickly it seems and so she's been pulling at her mats when she grooms herself and then I'll see them all around and I'll try and brush them out I've used various brushes and combs to no avail um, Google stuff online as to what's a really good grooming aid to remove mats or whatever I should do to naturally and painlessly and stress-free um, mat removal and so I did a couple things well they needed to be professionally groomed because every time I turned around I'd be like man where'd this mat come from anyways I get two of the groomers and like I said they're telling me what to expect so let's fast forward and hour and a half later I get a phone call and this is after I had dropped Marsh already off. And they're like, you have to come and get your cat. And I'm like, really? She's done? And they said, we can't groom her. And I'm like, oh, no. So she was saying, it's just too dangerous. We don't want to chance it. So I'm like, okay. So I was like, okay. I kind of half expected Marsh to be a little, you know, catty. <laughs> Excuse the pun. But anyways, um... Get to the vet, uh, so excuse I get to the groomer, and I said, I'm here to pick up that feisty kitty, and she's like, she's not feisty, she's me. And I'm like, oh, great. She goes, if you plan on taking to another groomer, you have to warn them. So I'm like, well, it sounds like I'm going to have to take her to the vets, and they're probably going to have to sedate her and to groom her. She needed to get mats removed and her claws clipped. So I get Marsh in the car, and of course she's growling and hissing and just, you know, not a happy cat toe at all. Oh, my poor little kitty, poor mama. So I'm talking to her and I'm putting my hand so she can sniff and, you know, she pooped herself too. And I'm like, Marsh. And we get her home. She's in the house. She's walking around. She's out of the cage. And I notice I've got to clean her rear end up. Well, I couldn't get close enough to do it to her. And the other cat's like, where have you been? What you doing? You smell differently. I got to smell you. And I'm like, leave her alone. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. She's in a mood. So I get home from work. A couple hours later, Mark bolts out the door. And I'm like, great. Marsh likes to play kitty games. So tried to get a bag of treats. And it's the treats on TV where all the cats are supposed to come running. This one didn't. But the neighbor's cat did. Go figure on that one. So anyways, we got that done. So we, Marsh, I just let her do things on her own. And a couple hours after I've been home, I get Marsh in the house. So Marsh is now relaxing in a dark, quiet area. She hasn't eaten. I'm like, I'm letting her do things on her terms because she doesn't like me right now. And I need to gain her trust again because... I'm gonna have to take her to the vets to get groomed. Uh, um, if anybody out there knows of a good trick to help calm a cat down um, en route to the vets or the groomers, I really would appreciate any help. I have Googled a lot of stuff. What keeps popping up is CBD oil. I get newsletters from iheartcats.com and there's a lot of articles about CBD oil for cats for anxiety and stress and there's a couple pet supply places by me that sell CBD and hemp products for calming and stress so I'm going to look into it and basically probably do reviews and also trial and error things. Leave a comment below if you have any good suggestions. I know each cat is different not everything's going to work for every cat. 
but I appreciate any and all help. Thank you so much for watching, watching, watching. I thought I said the same washing. Adopt, don't shop, and have a great day. Bye-bye.